So today I'm going to wake you up a little bit. <laughs> so let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this ministry. Let us be in your presence in this place. Lord Father, we lift up every person with hurt and sickness today. Father, you said if we acknowledge you in all our ways, you will make our crooked way straight. Lord, I pray that you will break all strongholds surrounding our lives. Lord, we pray that you will raise up a generation that will preach the gospel. So we proclaim your name today, Lord. Lord, I lift up every business in all the beach cities, every family in every person now. Come with your fire. Come with your glory. Come with your presence. And come with your forgiveness. And come with your restoration. And come with your healing. So today I decided I will open for Pastor Dennis. Um... There's a lot of people here today that hurts. Some stuff happened to them. Uh, Betty fell down and hurt herself. There's a lot of people with hurt today here. Later in the service, we're going to pray for all of you. Because God can do a miracle for you today. So I just want to talk a little bit about trust in the Lord. He will make all things work out for good for you. God sees your struggles, your fear and uncertainties. And even the path ahead, even if that looks unclear, and the burdens weigh heavy on you. Now, running a church is not an easy task for me when you don't feel well. But thank God I have people left hands that can jump in and help me out with what I have to do. When you hurt and when somebody hurt you and that hurt is still going on, I don't know what's in your lives, but when that hurt is still going on your heart and people still keep on hurting you, just trust in the Lord. Don't be discouraged by that. Change is all you have. Change is from God. Even trial and setbacks has a purpose. Let me tell you one thing. If this woman didn't go through a hard time, I couldn't preach to you. And all those hard times and and fairness that people brought on all of us, makes us stronger. Now, people will ask me, but I pray and God has an answer. Did you think that God don't want to answer because he know what you pray for is not good for you? And sometimes he changes the situation and sometimes he don't because he wants you to learn a lesson. God is bringing a closer destiny that he planned for you. Rest in his promises. Let go of your worries. Place your trust in Jesus. God is the greater of all things. He holds your life in his hands. Even if you cannot see, he's making a way. When you don't hear from God, his hands are busy. He's always busy behind the scenes. And for our Christians, we understand that we can trust in something that we cannot see. So people ask me, are you scared with your health scared? No. I know God's got my back. It's all I know. 
Do I believe I'm going to get a miracle before the 26th? Yes. yes. I'm going to get my miracle yes, if I didn't do it already. I want to tell you a story. So this week I went for my kidney tests. And my uric acid was so high. And you know, when your uric acid is high, you under chemotherapy. And I had a little cancer spot here on my nose and on my cheek here. And it was sore for weeks. And yesterday I looked in the mirror and I said, but it's gone. It's gone on my face. So I have to believe that uric acid count, that only uh, that chemical that fight cancer can do is happening in my body. And I have to happen to believe that that is Jesus Christ. Why would my uric acid be so high in my blood, in my urine, and everything? I didn't have chemotherapy. Might it be that God gave me some chemotherapy of his own? Might it be that he is healing me already? And I just have to have enough faith and trust in him to do the job. So if you have a problem today, this is the place, the right place to come to. We have wonderful prayer warriors here. You part of this family. And this is a healing house. And we want you to come here and get healed. Maybe somebody said something that hurt your heart. Maybe somebody falsely uh, 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 make a false accusation against you. That can have very big consequences to your life. But you know, there's only one judge. And that's God. If God's got your back, you don't have to worry. And the trust in the Lord is the only thing. And faith upon faith upon faith and upon faith, that's the only thing that will pull you through. So as we sing this next song, praise, I sing it that I want you to wake up and sing and dance for God. This is a place where you are free. Nobody is going to talk what happened here. We all been there one stage. We all been there. We all been through a big time with God. And just think of this. God is so good. He wants to see your chains. Paradise starts here on earth. Paradise starts here on earth. You can have the peace and the love of God here already. You just have to trust him. Let's sing that song. Uh, we're going to praise as one of Pastor Dennis's favorite songs. I'm always playing his favorites. My name is Pastor Stephanie Steeler, and I'm the lead pastor here at Revival and Healing Ministry. And I want to tell you about what we're doing here. We have a pastor school that we train pastors in, as well as we bought a new campus uh, that needs a lot of reparations. And uh, please join our page and go to the donation page on our website and help us out to get this campus in order. And none of our pastors on the payroll here or on the roll here, and we've got seven pastors here, none of us get any salary or pay or getting paid for what we do here. So all the money is going to go back in the building. And on our pastors course, we don't charge a fee for our pastors course. It's absolutely free, and we give you the books and everything. We're not... Uh, 
school that teach people to be prophets. We teach people to go out and do the gospel of Jesus Christ in a quick word and prepare people to help other people with their salvation. So if you feel it on your heart to donate something little to the, to contribute to this and make our campus look a little bit better, we bought this building for um, $88,000 and we are trying to fix it up. We're in a smaller city and we it's just impossible to get a good building here. But with your help, we can change this building and look. it can look spectacular for the students and put more people out. So we are a church that teach and release. We Our ministry teach the people and then we release them out there to go and do God's work.